this is something last night um, <laughs> that kind of blew me away. Let me start here. Let me connect it to the election, and then I'm going to go off on my tangent. So I tweeted last night because I got home and the World Series was still on. This is, I'm going to do my best to say this without having a lecturing tone because this is not, I don't want to lecture about this. This is, this is, you know, it is what it is. Um, I tweeted, you know, something about the World Series being a wild game because it was wild. Like it was, we were up to like one o'clock in the morning waiting for the extra innings to be over. Congratulations, Cubs. It's been a long time coming. You guys got one. Congrats. Um, I woke up this morning to people who were genuinely upset that we were talking about the World Series instead of talking about political corruption, instead of talking about the campaign, and instead of talking about how we can stop Hillary. And, and I'm like, okay, I, you know, and it wasn't one person. I think it was at least five people. Still five people was enough for me to generally ignore, but the extent to which they were serious about the World Series being a distraction from political corruption. And it made me think, I'm like, you know, if we actually had documentation from, oh, let's say the Bronze Age, right? I'm sure there was political corruption in some form or fashion for every stage of human existence. So if you're waiting on the complete purge of political corruption for you to chill the hell out, then you might as well just give up now and just just go jump off a bridge or something because no, I'm not sorry, I don't get because some people might take that seriously. But seriously, folks, chill out. Take a just just take a Xanax, smoke a blunt, you know, just go for a walk and look at the leaves because you are not we 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 are not going to end every problem in the world by having 100% laser-like focus and never coming up for air. It's just insane. It's asinine, right? Okay, that's, so all I did was tweet about one tweet, and, and I'm going to show you uh, uh, what I was tweeting about. Actually, it was two tweets. I'm lying. There was two tweets. The second tweet was actually amazing, and I want to share the second tweet uh, on your screen now. Actually, I want to put it on the full screen because this guy made a tweet. Uh, don't know who this guy is. I guess I could pull his name up. It's kind of irrelevant. Um, but he tweeted this out uh, two years ago, and I want you to see what he said two years ago. Two years ago, he says, in 2016 World Series, Cubs versus the Indians, check, uh, and then the world would end with the score tied uh, in Game 7 in extra innings, hashtag apocalypse. So, you know, the world's not coming to an end, right? No big deal. It's just a fun tweet that we shared. Um, it's amazing. He really, I hope, I hope this guy put some money on that. Like, I hope he went to Vegas that night and put some money on that because he would be insanely wealthy this morning. I have a feeling he didn't. Um, but anyway, the point is this. It's like, the, this thing is almost over. And when I say this thing, not political corruption, because it's going to be here. Not not uh, a ruling elite, because until you have your proletariat revolution, the ruling elite, they're going to be here, right? The fight, the struggle, the, 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 the persistence, the, the, the problems, uh, persistently trying to overcome the problems is what I want to say. That's going to be here. The only thing that's getting ready to end is this insane election, and I cannot say Hallelujah. <laughs> no, because I think some of us have really lost our marbles, man. This thing has driven some of us to a point of uh, unhealthy mental health. Uh, and, and it's driving a lot, a lot of people to a place where, or maybe, and I'm taking into consideration, maybe it's not the election. Maybe the election is their way of expressing some things, but you know, and I know maybe you guys don't run into it, but maybe it's just cause I have uh, a whole lot of followers. And I, I mean, I get a lot of feedback on a lot of things. I'm, I'm so exposed in a lot of ways where I get constantly, like I would say every single day about 200 types of notifications across all of our mediums. And I would say an unhealthy portion of them uh, demonstrate a frantic nature, right? They're, they're frantic about trying to solve the world's problem right now today. Listen, it's been here. 
it's going to, and this is the, this is just, this is just some advice from one brother to another, from one brother to my sisters, to my non-gender conforming people. I'm just giving you some advice. This shit would drive you crazy. Ask me how I know, because I've done this every day for the last two years straight during the, one of the most vitriolic elections. And I'm telling you, everybody, we got to fight after November 8th, but in the meantime, Take it in stride. It's not the end of the world. The world, con countered, contrary to this, this tweet, the apocalypse did not happen last night. The apocalypse is not going to happen if Donald Trump wins. The, you know, I pause there, but the apocalypse is not coming if Hillary Clinton wins. I wanted to bet somebody. Somebody wanted to bet me. We were going to bet like $1,000 over whether or not Hillary Clinton was going to start World War III. Like, not that that's a laughing matter, but the fact of the matter is, is that People have gone to this place where they are frantically, sincerely believing that the world is coming to an end if Trump becomes president, if Hillary becomes president. And you know what the fact of the matter is? That same corruption that has been here since the dawn of mankind, it's going to still be here. That same apathy that we see that's a problem now, it's unfortunately going to be here. Things are more likely not to change at all. And, and I'm not saying that all I'm saying is at this point, it's baked into the system. One of those two people are going to be your president. So everybody needs to just chill the hell out. Go and do your part. Vote for whoever you're going to vote for. But calm, please. It's just not for me. For you. Everybody just woosa. Just breathe. Because we have to pick up the fight on November 9th. And if we lose our minds between now and then, what good are we going to be to anybody? So what I'm going to do so that I don't lose my mind is that I'm going to unplug after November 8th for at least a week. And I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to look at pretty, I was going to say pretty women, but I was lying. I'm going to look at pretty landscapes. I'm going to look at the fall. I'm going to drive through Connecticut. I'm going to look at the most, uh, the I-5 corridor and just go down, uh, not I-5, but State Road right there in Connecticut where there's the most beautiful sceneries. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to take it all in. And I'm going to breathe. And I don't care who the president is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I don't control that except for what I do in the voting booth. And then I have to let it go. So, folks, breathe, stretch, let it go. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You guys have a good night. And I will see you next time. The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog, join the Progressive Army, and support The Benjamin Dixon Show. If you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show.